My name's Henry, and I'm a theoretical physicist. One of the things that always takes me by surprise is just how connected our universe is. How two seemingly unrelated phenomena can be intimately linked to one another. Take, for example, the main equations that govern the water in this bucket. Their study is what we call fluid mechanics, and it governs everything from the way the water would flow from this bucket to the waves and ripples that we see on the sea, and even the tides. Now, what's awesome is that along with the equations that govern the electromagnetic field, that's the thing that would make this light bulb light up, or tells my phone's compass which way is north. They're both caused by the same thing and thus governed by the same set of equations, which we call Maxwell's equations. And when we combine these two elements of the universe, electromagnetism and fluid mechanics, we get what's called magnetohydrodynamics. Now that's the study of magnetic fluids. And what's cool is that this describes a system entirely different, at least on the surface, to the water or even the light bulb. And that thing is the sun. Now the reason for this is that the sun is made up of a special kind of fluid, which we call a plasma. The plasma is different because it's so hot that the electrons, which would usually orbit the atoms, are stripped off. And this causes large charged currents to form. And Maxwell's equations tells us that this forms magnetic fields. And thus, by combining fluid mechanics and electromagnetism, we do, can describe the plasma and therefore describe the sun. And that's one of the great things about science. We can come to a situation which we've never seen before and quite quickly realise that actually we knew a little bit more about it than we originally thought.